LLMO observability is not just about tracking usage metrics, which are very important, by the way, but it's also about gaining deep insights as to how your dynamic AI systems are performing so that you and your team can make better data-driven decisions for your users. So if you're building an AI application, you're likely testing out different providers, models, and prompts. And in this video, we're going to use the popular open source project, OpenWebUI, to quickly integrate into LLM observability platform Helicon to track every single request you make with a single line of code. Sounds cool? Let's go! So in case you're not familiar with OpenWebUI, it's a pretty cool open source project because it enables us to run the repository locally and immediately have access to this chat GPT-like interface where we can make requests with any types of prompts um, and leverage all of the different open AI models that they have, as well as uh, running Llama servers locally. And so what we're going to do today is that we're going to make sure that every request that is being made to the model, we're actually tracking it in our Helicon LLM observability platform so that we can start tracing the cost, the token usage, the limit, etc. and review them in our Helicone dashboard. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to get our Helicone API key. So we're going to go ahead, sign in, and we're going to go into settings. And once we're in settings, we're going to go into API keys and we're going to generate an API key. We can call this open web UI. It can be write only. We don't need to read information from it. And once we copy it, we are good to go. Now we're going to do the same thing with OpenAI. So you want to head over to platforms.openai.com and we're going to, again, go into settings, API keys, and we're just going to generate a new secret key. If you already have one, you can use it. Otherwise, just make sure that you have some tokens in it so that your requests are actually being made and tracked. Once the secret key is created, then we copy it and we are off to the next step. So this is where it starts getting juicy and everything comes together. Let's head over to Helicone's documentation. And as you can see, they're integrated into a bunch of different AI tools and LLM providers. So for example, if you're already making open AI queries in your application, you can simply exchange the base URL for Helicone's base URL and pass it your Helicone API key and open AI key that we just got. And you'll already be tracking your request, which is quite cool. Again, you can do that with Anthropic, Llama, or others. But for this video, we're going to focus on the Open Web UI integration, which you can find down here. And what we're going to do is follow these steps. We already have our Helicon key. We already have an Open AI key. Up next is just running this command, and with it, everything will be set up. So a few things to keep in mind here is that, as you can see, it is a Docker command. So if you don't have Docker installed on your computer, this is a great moment to do so. I won't go into that in this video, but I will leave a link underneath. Otherwise, let's just go ahead and copy this script and head over to our terminal. We paste that. And most importantly, what we need to do is replace our keys here so that everything works. So upon running that command, if I go ahead and check out my Docker instance, I'll see that my open web UI interface is already deployed and running. And so I'll check out my local host and that immediately brings up the open web UI interface. I have to log in. So I'll create an account. This truly can be anything. You're running it locally, but this will give me access to admin functionality so that now let's select a model like say GPT-4 Turbo, which takes tests and I'll go ahead and insert a prompt immediately responds and so now if I tap into my Helicone dashboard and head over to the request tab and I'm already able to see the request that I did as well as the model I used, the amount of latency, cost, tokens were leveraged, the question that I asked and also the response that the model gave me. Interestingly enough, we can also see that OpenUI also does some additional requests every time we're prompting it, which I think is an interesting find that we otherwise would not have gotten had we not gone through this observability. So there you have it. Just by getting some API keys and replacing the API base URL with Helicones, you're already able to start tracing every request that you're making to any LLM provider directly from your computer. So if you're interested in diving deeper into both LLM observability or Helicone dashboard more specifically, happy to answer any questions you have and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.